What's going on everybody? Welcome back to another Sparks Notes comic review. Today I'm going to be reviewing Steambound number two. Just did the review for number one, so I figured let's keep it moving. Let's check out issue number two. So you guys know if you want to go ahead and pick up the series or not. Um, first, you know, as always, hit that like button, subscribe to the channel if you're not already, and drop a comment below and let me know what you thought of Steambound number two. Welcome back everybody. Let's get into this. This is Steambound number two from Behemoth Comics. Um, cool green back cover. I haven't seen a book like that before. Um, you know I loved the first issue of this. Um, I talked about it in my last review. So let's talk about this. Let's break it down a little bit. Um, probably going to be some minor spoilers in this. I'm going to leave. Kind of there's a there's a twist at the end that I'm going to leave out. But let's talk about a little bit of what happens in this story. What else we find out about the characters, and then I'll do my usual breakdown of my um, kind of grading with the review. We are starting out this book meeting some people from the Order, which is what Hound is a member of, which the Order is like the policing force of the area, um, including someone named Frank, who looks almost like uh, L from Hollow Heart, um, in that he's, uh, he's in a giant suit. And I don't know if he is a person inside the suit, if he is a a robot if he is an android or what he is we don't really get that information but he has been maybe not on the force or um, out of the force for a little bit the, the order so because it says that he's one of us again today so uh, it sounds like he was part of a fight and some someone uh, took down part of his team um, and and so we we're, we're finding out you know they're planning on um, going and in, in, um, trying to work on cleaning up the streets a little bit, um, uh, getting rid of some of that organized crime area, um, and really addressing the the primin, which is a drug in the area, um, and uh, helps the pe people that have. Uh, mutated themselves, um, helps them to maybe use their powers or maybe um, uh, keep, uh, you know, keep it from getting unstable. Um, and we find out that, um, you know, Puck and Jaeger, though they are known each other for a while, Jaeger's never said anything about Alice, the character that we met the very end of last issue and who Jaeger and Hound are going to, I guess, rescue from this building. Um, but he hasn't said anything about her, so there's something bad maybe that happened between them that he has, you know, kind of put out of, you know, him talking about her or anything like that. Um, but uh, he's still going anyways because he's been promised um, some priming from Hound if he helps him do this. Um, and, you know, Hound is not a big fan of it. Um, he calls it poison, but um, he said that that's actually what's helping him to understand Puck. So it, it's, uh, it's, it's interesting. Um, we've got um, these two guys who are really good friends. Something happened in the past. We still haven't found out what happened there, but it kind of broke up this... Uh, friendship a little bit and 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 something happened with alice and so we're finding out that the order is going to make a move on the building that alice is in and it seems like that is probably why they are there more so than just really checking in on her and making sure she's not overdosing on some on drugs or anything um and so they go in they check on her um, not long after the order shows up and they have to figure out how to escape the building. Um, the I think this was so cool what they ended up doing. Um, 
Well, Alice and Hound leave. Uh, Jaeger and Puck go to slow them down and, uh, you know, kind of take them. And then you see uh, Puck come here and, uh, kind of, you know, be the cute little Puck and walk up to them like he's lost. They look, oh, look at this cute little guy. And then he goes crazy um, and attacks them. Does really well. We find out he is a mutallergenic is what they're calling him. Um... And so him and Jaeger are fighting and doing pretty good job. And then Frank the Tank shows up. Um, and so he, he, he throws a wrench in their, their plans a little bit. They thought they were like, boom, we're done. We got this. But Frank comes in. And so I'm not going to tell you the rest of it because there's the spoiler twist right after that. Um, but again, another fun read. I loved what was going on in the story. Um, I think seeing a good progression of um, what's happening with the characters, um, getting a little bit more of the world with the order, with uh, finding out about more of the, the mutation stuff, more of the, the drugs and, and what they're doing. So I really liked that. I really liked what they did there. Um, Again, for me, the art is like a, a 8, 9 out of 10. I, I love the style of what's going on here with the art. I love, like, you know, even the sound effects that they throw in. Um, I, I definitely like the way things are laid out in the book. Um, it's, it's fun. It's got a little bit of a, an anime kind of vibe and style to it, which I, I, I'm loving what they're doing with it. Um, so yeah, for me, eight or nine out of ten. Uh, story probably sitting around a seven, eight out of ten. This issue, I I got more questions from this, which is good. And so I think what's going to happen is as we we kind of get to the next couple issues, we're going to get answers started to come in, like who really is Alice and and why did this friendship between the three of them end seems like there's something some sort of tension there between them all um so definitely looking forward to that I'm loving i'm loving puck um of course um little cute puck and giant um aggressive and beast of a puck um i i hope i'm saying his name right if it's uh pronounced any differently um i hope uh they'll let me know um but again, um, just uh, as a reminder of who is the creative team behind this, Giuseppe Andriozzi is the writer, Lorenzo DeSanto is uh, the artist on this one, and Francesca Citarelli, I'm assuming then must be the letterer, so, or, or maybe colors, um, previews doesn't actually say, but... Um, They've, they've got credits on here, so they're definitely somebody important for this book. Um, from Behemoth Comics, if your local shop doesn't have Steambound 1 or 2, go to the link in the description below, behemothcomics.us, and that is where you can purchase issue 1 and 2. So definitely go do that. Check this out. Um, it's a fun read. Again, there are parts that, you know, you may have to read more than once because uh, maybe not necessarily translation issue, but phrasing's a little bit different or maybe a different order than um, we would say it usually. And so that's the only thing for me that um, makes it harder to read, but makes sense. I'm so glad that uh, they're able to bring this content to us in, in such a way and, and still um, make this story as enjoyable as, as possible. Um, so overall, I'm going to give this issue a solid 8 out of 10. Um, definitely, I'm, I'm on board the Steambound train here. Um, looking forward to issue number 3. Um, and, uh, you know, seeing where this goes. I think we've got uh, 4 issues for this, at least for a first story arc. Probably we'll get a second story arc if this does well. Um, I hope so. Hope we get more from this world because uh, I'm I'm really enjoying it. So, guys, as always, collect what you love, and I'll see you next time.